MB Project Kit for accurate test results. Eight common mistakes to avoid. One, what MB Project tests and what it does not test. It is used to test supplements that claim to be whey proteins only. It is not to be used for testing authenticity and protein percentage of heat stable whey used in cooking, plant proteins, milk protein concentrate, skimmed milk powder, egg, casein or hemp proteins. 2. Importance of 35 ml testing solution and pouring 10 ml shake on top. In case testing solution fills to more than 35 ml, do not pour less than 10 ml shake. In such a case, first carefully remove the extra 1 or 2 ml testing solution. Then ensure to pour complete 10 ml of shake on top of the testing solution. 3. Importance of 200 ml water and shaking vigorously. Whey shake should be prepared in exactly 200 ml water with one serving of the supplement you are testing. Then you must vigorously shake the shaker for at least 30 seconds to ensure proper mixing of whey. 4. Importance of correct serving size. Never use scoop of another whey brand to test a particular whey product. Test every whey product only with the filled leveled scoop given for that product found inside its own pack. 5. Do not pour shake until there is almost zero foaming. Wait patiently for the foaming to settle completely, whether it takes 1 minute or 10 minutes. There should be nearly zero foaming before you pour the 10 ml shake into the testing solution. After foaming has settled, swirl the whey shake for 4 to 5 seconds and then pour it in the solution. Otherwise, some whey might have settled and not be in the top 10 ml that is poured. 6. What if some precipitates start floating on top of the testing solution instead of completely settling down? This is mentioned as point number 7 in the instruction and FAQ booklet. It may so happen that even after vigorously shaking the shake in testing solution for 15 to 30 seconds and keeping the tube for one hour, you still observe unsettled precipitates floating on top of the tube. In such cases, just shake the tube again vigorously for another 15 to 20 seconds to make them dissolve in the testing solution and keep the tube back. If it is whey protein, it will fully react and give precipitate that settles at the bottom. Wait for 24 hours to check protein percentage reading. 7. After 24 hours, invert slowly. After checking protein percentage for confirmatory test, inversion of tube should be done slowly and steadily so that the precipitate doesn't fall down due to the sudden jerk itself. 8. If after 24 hours we invert and the precipitate in tube falls off, is it fake whey supplement? How critical are the confirmatory tests? Full 100% sticking of the whey precipitate is not mandatory for authenticity proof. Up to 30 to 40% falling of the solidified precipitate back into the solution is okay. More than 60 to 70% falling of the whey precipitate back into the solution is an indicator of non-whey impurities. Confirmatory tests are not the main protein percentage determining tests, but only indicators of possible fake or adulterated whey supplement. Happy testing!